many people have used the speed grader to give students their um, their grade over in this section. You might have a rubric if you're in a standards-based course, and you can um, give comments right here. But there's some other tools that people don't always take advantage of uh, built right into speed grader. Um, typically, you'll just be on the regular mouse, um, so you can move up and down, highlight things. Um, but there are a few other tools. Um, the point annotation it lets you put a drop on something and um, uh, and it lets you put in a answer or a comment. Uh, the student then also has a chance to reply. Uh, you can also highlight um, certain things in here. Um, and the, uh, highlight that for students. Uh, and you could give a comment on it. Uh, this works really good. Uh, this one came off of a Google, it was a Google Cloud assignment. It's, this works even better if you're in an actual Canvas, if you had the kids turn something in Canvas and type in Canvas, like a text box or something. Um, you can just do a, um, you can just do a regular uh, text comment right on top of it. Um, uh, so you can leave some feedback that way. Uh, if you'd like, you can strike through something. And if you want to give the kid a comment about why you strike through it, you just click here and you can add a comment um, about the measuring cup. Uh, the last one is uh, sometimes it's nice to just be able to highlight something on the screen uh, so you can circle things. Um, and if you want to put a comment, you'd click right here. So, uh, Area annotation is another tool uh, where you can highlight an area. Uh, so if you don't want to do the freehand thing, uh, you can put a box around it and you can leave a comment about that. So everybody knows about this comment section. They've been using it uh, in Canvas all year. Uh, or typical Canvas users uh, get started with that right away. But these other tools in this little toolbar area also give you some great ways to give feedback to your students on their assignments.